Welcome to Learn for Turkey. In this video, we are going to see how to set up SSH on the Windows machine to take the clone or to pull or push the code from GitHub servers. Okay. Now uh, we uh, we we normally we go to the GitHub account and we try to clone and we get an error, right? Permission denied error because of a key, public keys, etc. So here we are going to see how to set it up and how to clone it from the GitHub account on the Windows machine. So let's get started. Okay, so we, we are having a Learn for Turkey GitHub account just for the demonstration purpose. Uh, you might be having a GitHub account where you are actually trying to access it. So here in this demonstration, we are going to see like how to use, how to clone it from the Learn for Turkey GitHub account. So let me open one uh, Git repo and try to clone it. Let us go to the uh, code button and then copy this uh, SSH URL. Let us try to clone it. So for that, first of all, you should have Git bash in your Git Windows account. Uh, and just install it into the system and, and, and also the git and then uh, you just have to open the git bash shell so here I am opening it up git bash here now let us try to clone it so we type in git clone and then the URL SSH URL that I just copied from the github account so if I click on this then you will see that we got an error public key permission denied error why this error? Because we do not have any SSH configuration and we are trying to clone it from the SSH URL. So for that, to fix this error, let us see what we need to do. So <clears throat> to fix it up, so first of all, we need to type in a command SSH keygen. What we are trying to say, we are, what we are trying to do is in case of an SSH, it works on the public private key pair. So when we type in this command, it will generate two file, uh, private key as well as public key and this two file will be placed in the home directory dot uh, ssh folder so let us just type in ssh keygen we typed in and press enter as soon as we press enter it will ask us if you simply want to go with this default file name id underscore rsa for both the keys or you want to give it give uh, uh, altogether a new name so in order to avoid any overridden so overriding existing file we just have to let us copy it <coughs> Let us copy in and paste it here and give any name which you think that is unique. Okay. As soon as we hit enter after giving this name, uh, you just make sure that uh, initial path and the dot SSH folder, it should be within the dot SSH folder, but just change the file name and hit enter. As soon as you hit enter, it will ask for, it will ask you the, to set up a password for that file, for those two files. So just type in any any password like the way you set a new password so so here i am entering entering and admin and again it will ask for the it is like confirm password functionality so it will ask for another again uh, typing in the same password admin and as soon as i click on this it will generate two file so let us go to the ssh directory in the home dot ssh folder in the home tilde slash dot ssh so ls as you see, as we type in ls, it shows two file id underscore rsa underscore win id underscore rsa underscore win dot pub. So we have this without dot pub is a private key and dot pub is a public key. Now what next we have to do? We have to copy this pub key content in, and conf, configure it into the GitHub account. So let us just copy it into our clipboard with a command cat id underscore rsa underscore win dot pub. Okay and hit then clip okay now it will get uh, copied into the clipboard so let us go into the github account and uh, let us go back go to the ssh and gpg keys configuration in the github settings okay so uh, for now you have to click on new ssh key as soon as you click on new ssh key now type in control v because that particular command pasted it into the clipboard so you just have to type in control v you just paste it here and let's give it a unique name here just to identify which uh, basically on which machine this ssh key is configured so i already have this name available uh, with this key so i just typing in as ssh win 2 click on add key so in this manner we have configured the public key into the github account now let us go back to the git bash so let us clear the screen and to make it more clear and visible so uh, now the second step is to uh, run the ssh agent evade dollar open parenthesis and ssh 
agent hyphen s and press enter this is second command now type in ssh add then private key name id rsa win and hit enter it will ask for the password that you have configured right at that time so we have configured admin now we are done we are done with the ssh configuration now you can go back to the uh, for that particular folder my site where we were sitting earlier and trying to clone the repository so now let us try to clone it again git clone and let me just copy the that particular repo url again <clears throat> as you see in the at this time it will be able to do the cloning because ssh configuration is done so what are the steps we did we first create the uh, keygen pair using the ssh keygen command so we create public private key pair secondly we copied the public key content and paste it into the as a github account ssh settings okay and third is we have run the ssh agent using evil ssh agent command and then we use the ssh hyphen add command to add the private key into the agent so in this manner we configuration is done but now the cloning is done on the on this git bash shell so let us cl uh, close this git bash shell and try to do the clone again so if i go to the uh, if i go to the project folder again okay let me delete this folder just to show you uh, just to show you show you how to if how, trying to clone it again uh, with the different git bash shell git clone again trying to clone it you will see that this time again it will give us the error although we have configured it correctly earlier but again it is giving me error why because in the initial initially we have the ssh agent running on that particular shell now when we close that shell and open it again the git bash here again then that particular agent is stopped because that as agent is running on that particular shell now how do we make sure that every time we open the git bash shell it that particular agent ssh agent will always be running right as soon as we uh, open the git bash it will automatically run so what we need to do so for that we for that we have to do one small uh, configuration I will uh, I'm going to visit this site so in the, this URL I will post into the uh, into the video description so you can go and open that just uh, can copy this content okay just copy this content and open the git bash any anywhere you open it just create this file dot bash bash rc file if it is already there just open that up and append that content if not then you can create this file from from scratch in the home directory dot bash rc okay bash rc and and paste the content that i have copied from the browser okay and just save the file save the file and come out of it if you do not have vi editor or if you do not know about vi editor uh, you can simply open any notepad plus plus and save the content into dot bash rc file just make sure that we are creating this file into the home directory and the name of the file is dot bash rc after creating this now that as soon as uh, if you after creating it just close it up okay and then open it again open the git bash shell again now this time when you open it uh, don't worry about this warning it is trying to say that uh, the file which is actually trying to load this bash rc file is itself is not present so they are creating it on our behalf so don't worry okay so just have to continue so now try to type in ssh add command ssh hyphen add just to verify that ssh agent is already running or not ssh hyphen add hyphen l it will list all the keys which are added so if it is already run basically ssh agent got started then you will see the list like this if it is not it will say that it is not able to connect something like that kind of message okay now in this case we are able to connect so now if you try to clone it because we have not run the ssh agent again we have configured it using bash rc just copy the ssh url now this time it is running so every time when you open the git bash you don't have to do anything you can do uh, cloning normally because the configuration is done 
So configuration is key pair generation, saving the public key into the GitHub account. Third is loading that private key into the SSH agent, running the SSH agent. And fourth is configuring the bash RC file into the home directory. After that, you are done with the configuration and you can safely clone, push, pull, whatever you want to do with the remote server, with the GitHub server. So this thing will definitely work. That's it for this video. So hope you understand the concept very well and you will be able to configure this thing easily in few steps. And if you, do, you still found any problem or if you still face any problem, then you can let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please uh, click on like button and subscribe to this video so that you can you do not miss any such videos in the upcoming streams. Thank you so much.